Okay, so after we did the reset, now you put your Wi-Fi password, click on next. There you go, they're asking for a Google but you know account. And since you already lost it or you don't know it, what should we do? You just go back all the way to the main page. Right here. And then we're gonna go click on emergency call. We're gonna dial, dial 112 and then wait until the answer. Swipe it to the left. You will see the internet logo. Click on it and then just hang up. So let's start. There you go guys, so just make a call and you know just wait until the answer, whoever answer and then uh, swipe to the left, click on Google and then it will just turn on. Okay, once you go to google.com, click on Google account, I mean type Google account manager. Okay, so once you type Google Account Manager, okay, you um, scroll down all the way to Google Account Manager, download by Google ENC APK Mirror, click on it. Scroll down, there you go, until you see download APK. Click on it. You will see right here your download is starting. Allow. There you go, it starts loading. Okay, so while this one is loading, we're gonna just go back again to google.com and then we're gonna type quick shortcut maker. There you go, and then we scroll down. This one right here, shortcut maker. Download by APK Mirror. Click on it. Scroll down, because probably if you choose the first website, so you're gonna give you a lot of pop-ups. This one it's much better. Click on it. And then your download is starting. There you go. Okay, so we'll let this one load in and then we go back to the homepage to google.com. Right here. And then we're gonna type Samsung. Galaxy apps. And then we go to the first website. And then we go to Samsung Galaxy apps. Right here. This one. And then click on accept. Okay, so once you, go, uh, you click on that icon, you just go, for example, category and then after that go to tools right here tools we go to search and then we're gonna put es space file explorer click on this one and then click on this to load it and then probably they're gonna ask us to put the account if you guys don't have an account it's very easy just go ahead and then create your account and then you know you can sign up then put your email that you choose and then password if you already have one just go ahead and then type it right there the same for my case I'm just gonna put my email and then I'm gonna show you the next step
okay so after I put my email and password or after you do put your email and password as well or you create your account you're gonna see accept and download this term is for the ES file explorer so I'm just gonna click on accept and then it will start loading accept okay you're just gonna go ahead click on it and then find the new version update no we're not gonna do any updates right now yeah no updates it's gonna cancel but I remember those apps that we loaded before we're just gonna go ahead and then click on download and then hit it those are the apps that we loaded earlier so we go first to this one click on install settings okay and then here we're gonna just enable the unknown sources click on yes okay and then here install good so we just go back and then we go to the next app that we loaded earlier click on install as well settings and then enable the unknown sources click on ok install and then we're gonna open it and then here you see open click okay right here we're gonna go ahead and then type google account there there where we have to go it's a google account manager click on it and then you will see another list will show up so you scroll down all the way till type email and password right here sorry about that there you go google account manager and then type email and password so we click on it and then and then after that we're gonna go ahead right here to try click on it go to sign in browser sign in okay and here here we're gonna put any email any gmail account that you have with google if you don't have one a gmail account you can just go ahead and create one myself i already have one so i'm just going to put my email okay so after i put my email right here you just click on next and then here they're going to ask for a password i'm just going to type my password and then go you know show you what is the next step all right after i put the password i'm just going to click on sign in there you go okay so after we put the email and password we'll take you back to this page what we're gonna do just hold the power button for about two seconds so we're gonna restart the phone so right here just go ahead and then restart uh we'll show you the next step just stay with us okay so after the phone turn uh, restart we're just gonna go ahead and then follow those steps next if you want to put your wi-fi you can if not you're just gonna skip it next okay next
okay on this step it might take longer for you guys about i don't know 15 20 seconds you don't have to do anything just uh, wait until you know it goes to the next step and just make sure your phone is charged and if it's not just you know you can plug in the charger and then just keep using this you know um, following this process okay so we go next uh, and they're asking if you want to put your um, password no thanks go next use your Wi-Fi next skip done there you go we're already on the phone menu so what we do now this is the last step we're just gonna go ahead to this go to the settings and we're gonna reset the whole phone back up and reset factory data reset reset settings so we're gonna go factory data re reset so here I have already you know the account that we already put for Samsung and for the Gmail you're gonna do reset phone delete all and everything will be deleted and your phone will be back to life enjoy you guys if you like the video give a thumbs up like share always like so we can get you the you know all the time good videos good tricks and stay connected thank you guys see you soon